Why not? Why not just start? Are these making noises that the computer can hear? Desktop audio is where it should be happening, but is it? Let's do the tech run through, should have done before started streaming. What the hell? Game capture. Maybe that's where the audio should be coming from. Desktop audio. Advanced audio properties, why not? Uh, it's got all six channels. All right, maybe if someone appears. I'm not streaming Dyson Sphere program, you lying website. How do you make that fix the thing with the stuff? I'm an expert, you guys. Let's fix some stuff here. Let's put this down to what I'm actually streaming at, which is this guy. All right, so here is some of our friend Satisfactory. Except it keeps effing out. Not working too well. Nothing's working too well. Why'd I post on the internet that I was streaming before I was ready to get the streaming done? And now, everyone's favorite part of the video game stream, a long loading time. Hi, kids. I'm MC Friend a lot, and I'm going to figure out how to look at the chat on my motherfucking Twitch stream. Yeah. I know I have it in here somewhere. Is this it? Is this just going to do it? No. That's just my page. Curse you website that I don't use. I know my tour, I know my chat is in here somewhere. Where's my chat? Theater mode? Welcome to chat room. All right. I thought I had a link to my gosh darn. Maybe I have to be logged in for that. Am I not logged into Twitch? Well, who gives a shit? Hi, folks. We are watching the wonderful Satisfactory loading screen from Coffee Stain Studios. They've had a dev team of, uh, I think, 300 people in Prague getting the little slat in the Y cut out just right. So there, That's looking pretty good. Still early access, as you can see. They're going to keep refining that typography and then the team that makes the little swirl go around um has also been doing this big big crunch for them they had it accidentally going uh, counterclockwise um for the the early betas but now they've they've successfully got it going clockwise and uh i think the team over there is really feeling like the loading screen for satisfactory is dialed in so let's congratulate them for that and wish them a happy whatever holiday it is in Prague uh, or wherever they are. And I do not know whether the video game is going to make noise into OBS. Because I tested nothing before pressing the button. Yeah. Smart man is in charge of being intelligent. And he's doing that on internet today. I'm going to type hello in the chat. Hello, mother. Fuck you. <laughs> I am all kinds of not logged in to Twitch, and I don't have my phone handy. So tell you what, uh, I'll be able to see the chat, but I'm not going to write in the chat. 
Someone has posted four clapping microscopic animated GIF emojis. Okay. Welcome to my satisfactory. Let's get back over where I wanted my mouse cursor. Um, maybe you can tell me in the chat, can you hear that train making all that noise? Whoa, come on now. I am not, I do not have focus. Screech. Oh, is the frame rate gonna be like this? That is not going to be what I would term acceptable. I don't even know what this train is. What train am I in? Oh, come on now. Stop. I'm gonna play like Baba is You or Wordle or something if the frame rate is gonna be like this. Uh, train name Train. That's helpful. Past me. Thanks for labeling that. I'll tell you what train it is after I look at. Oh, hot. American death. We need to put on our flying thing. Now we can fly as long as we're pretty close to some electrical power. Oh, this is really bad. All right, so we are out in the desert at the northeast chunk of the map. Um, a barren and lifeless area with a couple of small oasis-like features. Yeah, frame rate sucks ass. Big Copper's Circuits is the train that I dislodged from its station. However, it doesn't look like there's a f train sitting over here. in the OBS. What profile did I do? It won't tell me. I need a new computer. I do, I think I do, I think I need a new computer. Oh God, this motherfucking thing keeps flipping resolutions on me over and over and over. That's not great, and I don't care, and I should stop complaining. I'm in the middle of a video game broadcast. Tell you what, even if I am streaming at 2K, I'm gonna just switch this guy down to bullshit resolution. See if that helps at all. There we go, engage bullshit mode now. Uh, maybe a little better. Okay. Whoa. There's a train that's waiting for this other train to get the F out of its way. This train, however, has a mission. Your mission, whether you choose to accept it or not. Am I hearing sound again from over here? Fuck or not. you also. <laughs> this is like the, what do you call it, Keystone Cops, except all of them are playing a video game. Okay. We want, I actually do want this to stream over here so I can see it. We want a train, the one I'm in, which is helpfully called train, to go to Big Copper High Speed Connector Pickup. Not twice, you idiot. All right. 
right? And we want it to go there and load its ass all the way up and like wait for a second just to make sure it's confident in its decision making. And then we want it to proceed to, where's it going? Or shores, connector drop, there we go. And over there it will do its normal thing, one unload. I would make it wait until it was all the way unloaded but in the current early access, that seems to be broken. So we will just make it do that, and we'll turn on the self-drive, and then we will be sitting in a train that's gonna go somewhere. Here it goes. So, in the Game Satisfactory by Coffee Stain Studios, um, they do have most of their team working on that loading screen, but some of the team is also doing things like graphics, and uh, train logic, and ambient occlusion. That's the graphics department, actually. I said them twice. Uh, some of them are doing meshes and textures. That's just all the stuff that you do when you're making a video game. Um, a few of them are working on uh, making it fun. So those folks have done a fantastic job. They've built this huge alien planet with a bunch of different biomes in it. And you fight your way through at the beginning with your like little beat em up stick and you try and fend off the alien wildlife and you find resources to ex uh, extract and exploit and you extract and you exploit and then you process them into things like you take your iron ore and make iron uh, ingots out of it and you make those into sheets and screws and rods and, and then you keep making more and more complicated things and you start out doing that by hand but then of course you eventually get a hold of uh, conveyor belts and storage containers and you move um, all of your stuff that you care about in and out of the buildings that process them into other objects and you do all of this um, as logically as you can you know, using spreadsheets at least I do. And when you're done with that, you have giant factories that do everything you could want a giant factory to do. We're not going to ride this train right now. We are going to look at the factory that it's picking up high-speed connectors from. That's what a high stack of high-speed connectors looks like. You see there's more coming in on a conveyor belt right there. A couple of conveyor belts. Um, a bunch are not in that container, which was full because they went into the train, which is now taking it to a completely different chunk of the map. So here's where I think rubber, no, no, silica comes in. Here's where circuit boards could leave. Here's where those high-speed connectors, which is a fancier kind of circuit board, can leave. Here's a big wall of building. Here's a bunch of water extractors in this little lake underneath. They are sending water over to the copper processing. Here's where copper sheeting and copper ingot could leave on six car trains if they had anywhere to go. They currently don't because I'm building the stuff that I use those for here in this big ass factory. Here's a bunch of conveyor belts coming back from uh, building two, which is here. What's inside these buildings, you wonder? Well, let's see if the frame rate can stand actually looking at them. Here's, by the way, it is not this bad when I'm actually playing. I don't know what about the streaming in the brand new beta of OBS that I installed that could possibly be causing me problems. Um, here's those two kinds of processed copper coming out on a bunch of conveyor belts where they're going to go to these storage containers and then they're going to duck below to the trains, uh, loading platforms, etc. right? And then inside there's a fluid container which must be for water. There's a whole bunch of refineries all in a pretty row with stuff going in and slightly different stuff coming out. Um, I have some of them colored to note that I See, there's, of course, a maximum amount that fits on a conveyor belt, so here I think I've got this guy underclocked a little bit, and this guy is overclocked a little bit, uh, just to get the right numbers of things to not max, to not exceed the maximum of throughput of a belt. 
And there's a lot of that kind of absolutely fiddly little bullshit, which is the delightful main point of this game, that and making a train set. Um, any factory building, resource extraction, processing game eventually turns into a train set, which we all remember from our childhoods is a fun thing to play with. Therefore, research trains as quickly as possible. Here's some signs I put on the wall to remind myself of what the numbers are at the end of this big ass factory. All right, so that was pretty fun. Now, let's escape from this part of the map. Should we use a car? No, that's dumb. Let's build a new train. Do I have enough stuff in my inventory to make a train? Hell yeah, I do. So we're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna get in it. And then we're gonna manually drive this thing into our bright blue future. Uh, here we see the limits of the rendering distance at the moment. <laughs> this game is pretty and it is beautifully wrought, but it is also, like I mentioned, in the early access. And I don't think I have the draw distance turned all the way up. So yeah, here we see a few frames a second of the uh, big old northwestern desert. There's my massive copper processing system with some upstairs circuit board and high-speed connector processing. Here's my two-direction rail artery. The, uh, <laughs> the original version of trains had no clipping. So trains could go two ways on a single rail and run into each other and there would be no consequences. And that is uh, no longer the case. So I rebuilt my entire rail system with a large series of parallel tracks going all over the map and they branch here and there. Like here, I think I need to go left to stay on the track. Yeah. Um, so the right goes back into the loop on the desert. Oh dear. Yep, no, this is fine. I can go up here. I just don't want to go off to the other side. Or I could. I can go wherever I want in Satisfactory World. So imagine all this in beautiful 4K with the super high res textures turned on and getting 144 frames a second. And I will also imagine that because I certainly have not experienced it. But. When we get out of beta, and I get a beefier thing than this laptop to play my video games on. Hoo boy! You watch out! Bottleneck I'm gonna run into is my fiber optic cables upstream sending you high frame rate 4K images to my Twitch channel. I don't know why I'm talking like that. It's a form of self-mockery that's not really called for here. We're gonna break. Break! Oh boy, the brakes are not whew, that responsive. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna fly up here and we're gonna look at this area, which will start killing me. So I'm gonna put on my radiation suit. Uh, oh dear, there's my 20 remaining filters which are not going to keep me alive super long. So we have a little race against the clock, um, but we can look at it on the way. Here are a large number of nuclear reactors, which I'm currently using for fuel. That's kind of a late game power source. You start out uh, <laughs> gathering leaves and sticks and burning them. Um, then you eventually you know, research your way into coal and extracting coal and burning the coal. And then you like, Start to be able to process oils, of course. That's a popular hydrocarbon to burn. And eventually you get a hold of nuclear. So there's a huge, huge complicated chain to get these nuclear fuel rods, uh, these uranium fuel rods, which I bring over here to where all of this radiation is without it hassling me too much. And it steadily spits out nuclear waste. Look, in leaky buckets. Um, 
and you have to deal with the leaky buckets. They recently added to the game a way to deal with the leaky buckets. You used to have to store them, and I stored them in the sky forever. Uh, my sky storage got full and my power was shutting down and I was in trouble. So it's auto-saving. So I was thrilled to discover that they let you now process the nuclear waste into plutonium fuel rods, um, and they let you burn those in the, the uh, item burning machine. Uh, if, you make, if you burn them in the nuclear plant, it puts out plutonium fuel waste, which you cannot burn. You're back to having to store it forever. But now I am running quote unquote clean nuclear fuel on my my happy little area. It takes a lot of water to run the nukes. Why? 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 Stop. There we go. Uh, it takes a lot of lot of water, and you can see I have a fat bunch of pipes bringing water. Since I built this place, they have added to the game uh, high-capacity pipes, so I could have half as many of these. But instead, I'm going to overclock my nuclear power plants eventually, turn these in place into double-capacity ones because they're going to slurp twice as much water when I eventually do that. Um, and here I'm still on my first filter. It was not that big a deal. Here's some filters that I keep over here. Okay, this will keep my hazmat suit functioning for a while. Now you might wonder, how come all of these nice nuclear plants are in a row, but these two are sitting down, submit, submerged a little from the floor line into this little valley, which has water at the bottom. Why would that be? And the answer, thrillingly enough, hold on, is, now it would be perfect if the answer would fly by right now, but it's actually on like a 20 minute loop, so. <laughs> Lord knows when that uh, thing will fly by, but a gigantic flying, like, stingray thing and all its little babies will eventually swoop right through here. And I did not like how he was clipping through my reactors, so I put in a drop floor and <laughs> took those two reactors down and got them out of his way, or her way, somebody's way. There's all my, all my pipes. Um, let's thunk. Let's go look at where all that water is coming from. Uh, can I get down here without killing myself is a really good question. I don't have to. I built a walkway at some point after getting a couple of broken legs. So here, wow, this frame rate is depressing. Um, here is all those same 300 cubic meter per second tubes coming from this pretty good sized lake and I'm away from the radiation I can turn back on my flying device and we can get a nice view as long as I stay near powered buildings it's about as high as I can get of this little lake with my very orderly water extraction that I did carefully by hand because I was tired of everything looking all chaotic in my factory. I made this nice looking thing and then I got tired of that and it looks all chaotic again as it comes together in a bundle. And then it's nice and clean again on the other side. What fun. Um, I'm concerned that I'm making you folks seasick. What are you writing on the thing here? Yeah, I'm sorry it's labeled Dyson Sphere Program. I <laughs> launched this stream without logging into Twitch, so I now can't change it. I could change it, I guess, if I could go 
stop the stream long enough to look up my Twitch password and probably have to do the two-factor authentication. So I have to go downstairs and get my phone and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and many other reasons why we can't have nice things. Change to the jetpack at the last moment. Here, over here. Oh, look what we have here. Ah, get away from me, radioactive train. Bringing fresh fuel over to that uh, power plant array and taking nuclear waste away to be processed. Um, oh, let's have a tasty nut. Hmm. It's not a nut, it's a berry, okay. Hey, it's like I'm on this week's episode of Raised by Wolves. Okay. This is borderline unplayable like this, but we'll suffer through. This is steel processing. Brings in iron ore, coal, uh, sulfur, turns the sulfur and coal into compacted coal, puts that and the iron ore, or maybe ironing it together um, in a large number of buildings, which I have hidden, hoping that the Z occlusion will improve my frame rates when all this fucking shit is not on screen. It's not helping at the moment, necessarily, but in general, I think it does. Like, when I'm playing, I think that boxing up a building makes everything nice relatively this is um i'm trapped but you're never really trapped because you go peace out wall and then on the way back you're like uh how about how about there was a door there because i wanted there to be one when i walked up to that wall just now and also how about Paint it to look like the other ones. Okay, that was fun. So here we see ingredients coming in through the glass, coming in from nearby extraction. There's some proce auxiliary processing over there. There's a like huge amount of processing down here for the iron and then finishing into the steel products up there and the other steel products over here where we make uh, steel ingots, which are not being exported, steel beams, steel pipes. Let's change back to the electric flyer, because the fuel flyer can often dump you on your ass from a great height. Whoa, so can this one. I am not close to the electrics. Oh, dang it. But it lets you glide, at least, gracefully down to the ground. Jetpack. Save me jetpack. Where did I abandon that train? Oh dear. Poison, fart rocks. Get away from them. Oh geez. My last shred of health. I got right in between the fart rocks and didn't die. <sighs> Harrowing, wasn't it? I can't remember whether I drove up here. Oh, no. Where did I? Oh, I left my train back at the nuke plant. Shoot. <laughs> well, that won't do. The rails are electrified, so you can use this guy. It really did take an extremely long amount of time to build each one of these dedicated factories and connect them all on the rail. That's the tower in the sky where I used to keep my nuclear waste. There's a train that's on its way to do something important, I'm sure, but it's going to run into the place where I littered that passenger train I was using. And it's just going to be out of luck till I go clear that out. 
which is what I'll do next. La -de -de, la -de -da. So this game is basically Factorio. By the way, I'm playing Satisfactory, everybody, not Dyson Sphere Program, despite what I typed the last time I was on Twitch. Um, that it still says there. And this game is just like Factorio, except a little simpler and in 3D. A lot simpler, let's be honest. It does not have an infinite procedurally generated map of any kind. There's a train that can't go anywhere. There's a train that can't go anywhere. Um, it does not have resources that shrink as you extract them, finally becoming nothing and leaving you with Meaningless infrastructure that you have to break down and move farther out to unexploited areas. Doesn't have any of that. When you catch it, catch sight of a node and make it usable, then it is usable forever. And will spit out at a constant rate until the very end of time. The very end of time. Back in the train. Let's see what's further down this track. I think that's, oh yeah, it's Katerium, Katerium, I don't know. Hey, there's my flying buddy. I built my nukes just for you, friend. Where are you? There you are. Um, yeah, all that's just taking one kind of ore and making ingots out of it and exporting them. Um, let's go to the left. Over here. There we go, right behind me. Another water intensive spot where I'm turning quartz and sandstone or limestone into concrete and silica at large scale. There's some geothermal uh, generators. There's only, I think, 18 or 19 spots on the map. And I think I found them all. You can build those on it it gives a little bit of energy. Every bit counts. Over there in the distance, we can see the factory I'm working on now, which is iron and high iron use products. Here's a little cove with a waterfall. Upstairs from that, you can see there's the red forest. That's way up some cliffs. I don't have any connected rail service up there yet. Come through these caves and discover a shortcut to this southern central part of the map, which is where my old quartz extraction and processing goes hand in hand with aluminum, which comes from upstairs in the red forest. And in this cave comes Let's block traffic again. Oh shoot. That's what we're doing without even really meaning to. We're gonna come visit the aluminum farm. So here's the train station where that happens. Here's a bunch of Aluminum ingot production uses silica and aluminum scrap. Here's the aluminum scrap coming in on this train, which goes back and forth from where that's produced up the hill. There's a glass box where I've tried to keep a large monster from shooting me. Shot me to death a bunch of times. I could have killed him, or I could have just 
buried the entire area in concrete. But I thought it'd be more humiliating for the killer monster to hang out in a zoo. So where are you, killer monster? Are you spawned? Have you spawned today? Where are you at, fucker? Come here! I'm gonna bang into the glass. Yeah, I don't see you. Do I want to go up the hill and look at the red forest and see the aluminum production? I do not. It is fairly dull. Do I want to admire all the crap happening in here under this waterfall that for some reason cuts off in a very early access way before landing on anything? No, I will ignore that as well. And we'll go back to our lonely little rail car in about 30 seconds when the autosave has done its dirty business um well let's see during the break what do i have to announce there's no four-eyed horseman shows lined up immediately because schaefer the dark lord is on tour check out schaefer the dark lord's socials for that it's currently out east i believe it's coming out west Soon enough, I'm sure I will be in the crowd for their San Francisco show. He's out with Lex, the LexCon artist. What else is happening? Uh, I have a show at uh, Game Developers Conference on March 22nd at the DNA Lounge in San Francisco. Be very happy if any San Francisco people came to that and said, Hey, we saw you struggle with your Twitch stream <laughs> like a small child. Um. You don't have to put it exactly like that. Here's me clipping through some rocks because I haven't rebuilt this train station yet. <laughs> Amateur hour. Um, here's me succeeding in turning left. Yep. <laughs> and now you can go in there, train that's supposed to go in there. And I can head back towards the actual giant real factory where I used to make everything before I started trying to move stuff to disparate parts of the map um, so that I could scale up production in more sensible ways. What is the end goal of any of this production? Good question. Once you've researched all the science tiers and sent all your packages into space to open up other tiers and researched those and et cetera, et cetera, and done all the research, and opened up every possible item and recipe in the game, then you can take all of your excess stuff that you're making in your factory and just feed it into the garbage matron, uh, the smart sink, I think they call it. And it will chew them up and give you points, and it'll spit out tickets like a skee-ball machine. And those you can use in the little vending kiosk to buy like textures for your factories and all kinds of different little architecture things, stuff that you don't really need in the game, but that make everything better and more fun. And I think I've bought all of those. So technically I am out of content, but that's all right because I can just keep playing forever. Don't you love games that have no reason to ever stop playing? Here's things that I had to buy by using those tickets. Lights and different kinds of chests and different shapes of walls and windows and... Ooh, hyper tubes. Nope, those are all just little extra things. They're mostly for aesthetics. Uh, and these trophies that prove, like, how many tickets you were able to generate. Um, here's where I keep those tickets. I have 156 of them. Here's one of those machines. I have 28 left. I could print them out. There they are. And if they add more content to the game, then I can buy it using 184 tickets. Uh, every single ticket you generate, the next one is more expensive. Like... I need, what is this, 197 million points to get to my next, to like finish out the last 88% of this ticket. I wish it would tell you how many tickets you'd ever generated. Um, 
if I have any garbage in my pocket, I can just throw it in here and it'll go into the ticket machine. See, there it goes. It's grinding it all up and giving me points. It's not making those points go up any faster because it's just concrete. Um, these guys you can find out in the environment sometimes, being cute. They run away from you if you approach them, but you can tempt them with one of those berries that I used for health. And if you pet him just as he's eating the berry, then he becomes your friend and he'll follow you anywhere and you can confine him in a really tiny area in your factory like I did and farm things from him because every six or seven minutes he will find a random game object and some of them are limited loot like this wood which I no longer need um, some of them are items that don't matter like that sulfur many of them are items that don't matter Pet flower petals I don't need right now thanks more flower petals dumbass dog please follow my directions bring me valuable items from your tiny dog prison. Like here, this is useful, right? I think, I don't know if those regrow, but there's only a certain number of them on the map and that's like a health item. This, these definitely don't regrow. And there's a very limited number of them on the whole map. And once you found them all, you still need many, many more of them. So this is what you really are hoping for when you farm from the dogs, the power slugs. Power slugs, I'm gonna stick into I'm going to stick that in there too, and I'm going to stick the power slug in there. So the power slug is going to go downstairs here to this little array, and there's some smart splitters that are like, send that kind in there, and that kind in there, and that kind in there. And it'll process the power slug into the power shards, which I desperately need for overclocking equipment in the factories to make everything run just the way I want. There's the two that just came out of that yellow slug. So here's the factory, the old mill. And this used to be where every single thing was made until around aluminum time when I started having auxiliary factories. This is a big ass factory. It's got eight or nine floors. It's making a great deal of stuff. The only important thing it's doing anymore, really, is creating the like seven or eight different kinds of stuff yes uh, that uh, need to get shipped off on a train to the nuclear rod, fuel rod processing area um, because if that stops working then the whole world stops working and that's this train right here which has to bring beacons, oops, and control rods, and crystal oscillators, and concrete, and uh, iron, whatever those are, rather steel, steel beams. Uh, and what are these? What are you? Why won't you tell me what you are? Heat sink is the name of that object. And they all go over to nuclear processing. What is going on here? Oh, that was my test battery. You don't need to be there. None of you do. How about you all disappear? Oops, <laughs> that's what was keeping me aloft. Um, here is a bunch of batteries, a really large bunch of batteries. Do I have windows? Can you see them? No, please do not throw me into the abyss. <laughs> There's an abyss right here. <laughs> do not want to be inside of it. Don't even want to stare in it too hard. But those large batteries are going all the way up there, and they're also completely filling that building over there. And then they can handle power spikes, or if my whole shit falls apart, uh, power-wise, 
I can come over and flip the switch on this reserve power on the batteries, and I'll get about 10 minutes of the entire world working, uh, which, if I prep ahead of time, will be long enough for whatever's wrong with my nuclear chain to hopefully sort itself out. Just get some water pumped or whatever it was that died. Because once the circuit breaks, like, everything's off, and if you don't have enough power ready when you turn the circuit back on, then it'll just immediately blow again. It's like a real circuit breaker, sort of. So, yeah, you need some you need some planning to make sure you don't get just caught in a <laughs> irreparable problem. They've added drones to this game also, not so recently. But uh, when I picked it back up again a month or two ago was when I encountered them, and they are cool. They don't have a very huge capacity, but they're really fast. So there's things that are in certain places that you need to be in other places, but you do not want to dedicate any train action to. That is what you use drones for. I'm bringing fabric from a oil processing area, polyester fabric. I'm bringing oh, fuel for my jet pack comes over here. It's the only thing I need fuel for at this location. I'm sending batteries and uh, those radiation gas filters out to the places where I really want to have those on tap, and that's all I use drones for. The Great Space Elevator is all used up. There's nothing. It has no more tasks for me, but it had a, a great many series of tasks that went through all the stages of the game to the late, late game, post-content game where we are. And it takes them and it shoots them up to space on the space elevator. Uh, it even has inputs because you will eventually. There's a there's a conveyor belt feeding it nothing at the moment. Um, but that's what it was for. It was for taking the things that came out of this particle accelerator back when it still wanted them. Now I take those things and I feed them into the mulching machine to get points for stuff that I hope to buy someday from the vending machine. And that is Wordle. If everyone has been telling you Wordle is just like a simple little game and you can express your day's progress using a little grid of blank colored square emojis, uh, they're pulling your leg. This is Wordle's actually pretty complex. Um, here was my first try at the word of the day. I had to combine... Uh, circuit boards and crystal oscillators feed those into another complex production chain with uh, AI inhibitors, processed quartz, and rubber. Um, you can see that I had to overclock those machines 150% to uh, get my ratios correct. Uh, and that was just the first word of my Wordle today. So uh, if you're thinking about picking up Wordle, you haven't picked it up yet, just be warned. You need a great graphics card for it. Mine is the frame rate's awful on Wordle, as you can see. Um, but yeah, sorry again that my stream said uh, Dyson Sphere Project. Uh, this is in fact Wordle that I'm playing. And um, that's it, folks. Thank you. Thank you for joining me and watching a little bit of uh, me play video games, which is great for me, an old man with responsibilities who feels that he should do other things than play video games. But if I'm playing them for you and for your benefit, then I can pretend it's part of my um, music career. Right? Okay. That made perfect sense. Stop streaming. It's going to ask me if I really want to stop streaming. No, it just doesn't. No, it doesn't. It said stop streaming. Did you stop? It's throwing up a mother fluffin' window somewhere that I can't see because I'm still playing you. Let's exit you. How's that sound? Are you sure you want to stop the stream? There we go. Professionalism!